What is happening to humanity? For over four million years, since Homo erectus appeared on the face of the Earth, humanity has not seen an obesity epidemic like the one we suffer today. Today, children weigh five kilos more than they did 30 years ago. In 1990, 32 million children under the age of five were overweight. By 2013, there were 42 million, and by 2025, there will be 70 million overweight children. So why are more and more people overweight? Because they're eating an abundance of sugary, fatty, and salty junk foods. For example, a child by her eighth birthday has already eaten as much sugar as her grandfather did during his entire lifetime. Our unhealthy diets not only make us overweight and obese, they also create an epidemic of disease. Today, diet-related diseases such as diabetes, heart disease, and some cancers now claim more than 11 million lives a year. Junk foods are processed in thousands of ways, and children consume them without remorse. Additives of all flavors, colors, and shapes have become their addiction and everyday fare. Wrapped in fluorescent packaging and labels, covered with misleading, enticing slogans, it's difficult for consumers to read and understand the real ingredients in these products. On top of all this, advertising for these processed foods bombards children's noses, ears, and eyes, ultimately winning them over. Who wants the new toy? Just eat. Who is enticed by the new packaging? Just eat. Who wants to try the exotic new flavor? Just eat. And even if children wanted to run away and embrace healthy food, they can't. Junk food controls our schools, a place where there should only be healthy foods and drinks. But only some countries have achieved this. Haven't we had enough excess in this obese world? As citizens, we demand many things. Healthier food with less fat, sugar, and salt. Nutritional labels that adults and children can easily understand. Healthy food and free drinking water in schools. And a ban on junk food marketing to children. We must win the battle against malnutrition and obesity. We can do this in our own homes, but we will not succeed unless we work together to promote a global agreement to protect and promote healthy eating and to free our children from the obesogenic environment that surrounds us. This agreement can lead our governments to design, implement, evaluate, and improve public policies to benefit people's health around the world. Help us get back on a healthy path.